Hello, baseball fans, and Stratomatic baseball fans particularly, and fans of teams that are doing horribly, as my 1994 Marlins are. Um, usually when I do these season replays and I broadcast games, I usually skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead to try to get through the season. But with the Marlins, I'm going game by game until we win a game. Because as you can see from the, um, uh, let's go to the league stats. As you can see from the standings here, we are 0-10. The Marlins have not won a game yet. And in real life, we were 4-6. and six. Now, if you think we feel bad, look at Atlanta. Atlanta is 6-5, and five, but in real life, they were 10-1 and one at this point. But um, I digress. The Marlins are mired in a losing streak coming right out of the start of the season. So, we're 0-10, and until we win a game, I am going to go game by game. With my broadcasting of the games. So, with that having been said, let's get on with the game. Uh, we were, we are playing Saturday, April 16th, and it is going to be, um, we're playing San Francisco again, because I think I played them the last time, uh, and uh, John Burkett is going up for them, and we're going to have Dave Weathers going up for us. And so you can see the lineup for San Francisco <clears throat> is going to be... Um, Patterson at second, Lewis in center field, uh, Barry Bonds in left, Matt Williams at third, Benzinger at first, um, Dave Martinez in right, Royce Clayton at short, Manwaring at catcher, and Burkett pitching. For us, we're going to have uh, Chucky Card leading off. Brown, it's the same lineup as you're probably accustomed to, which you would think I would do something about that, but... I, I tried to do something about that last game, but the bench is really no better than the starters. Um, Brown at third base, Sheffield in right, Conine in left, uh, Magadan at first, Santiago at catcher, Abbott at short, Brett Barbary at second, and Weathers picking up the rear and pitching. And so with that, we are going to get on with the game. And there's the uh, game situation, the game day look. Welcome to the stadium for today's and, ball game. Uh, there is the inside of Marlins uh, box, box seats, box suites. I don't know what you want to call them. But anyway, uh, Patterson leading off. And uh, we're going to have him swinging away against our main man, Dave Weathers. And it looks like he's going to run. He does. And Lewis is up. Darren Lewis. And Darren Lewis gets a walk. So that that paves the way for Barry U.S. Bonds. And he's going to rip one. And uh, I'm going to throw through the lead runner with 60% chance, but no, it doesn't work out. And Matt Williams is up. Still a lot of time in the game. I want to say there's a lot of time in the game, but for us, that doesn't seem to matter. Uh, a run does score on the ground out, and there's two down, and Benzinger up. So, um, Weathers has already given up the run. Chucky Carr going up against... Burkett, John Burkett. So we're down a run here. I mean, it's a territory we're pretty used to. And he is out. Jerry the Governor Brown comes up. Did he get on? Did he work his way on? He did. Got an infield single there. And Gary Sheffield, the chef. And he's one of the players that's actually doing well for us. And the chef, the chef sends it back maybe to the wall, maybe over Lewis's, Lewis's head. Yes, he does. Um, I'm going to say, uh, let's see, runners. Yeah, I'm 
God. I'm going to say, I'm going to say yes. I mean, we've got to try something. And we did. It worked. Nice. Conine up. I mean, I had to try something. We're 0-10. What do we got to lose? And Conine strikes out because, you know, you didn't. And here we go with Magadan. Magadan. Well, that's a good thing I did do that. Try to extend and get the extra base because we, uh, th those next guys were not reliable. And that's what I was thinking. Dave Martinez, did you deny now? He did. Royce Clayton is up with one down. Here in the second, we're in a tie game. Let's see if Weathers can hold them down now. That's going to be a fly ball to the chef. And the second out, and Kurt Mann wearing a dress is up. And that's going to be a fly ball to Chucky Carr. So here we go. We're going to try to get some runs. Santiago. Now, Santiago didn't play last game. I played my main my main man, Bob Nadel, last game. So he does have a, he has a game off, a game rest. So let's see what he can do with a game rest under his belt. Kurt Abbott is up with one down, and it looks like he's got a base hit. So uh, Brett put another shrimp on the Barbary. And can he at least move the runner over? He can. And Dave Weathers, of course, Dave Weathers now with two outs. I'm not putting a lot of stock in the fact that he's going to get a hit or get a board. And he doesn't. Um, and so Dave Weathers is back out on the mound pitching to the man opposite from him, John Burkett. That's going to be a strike. Patterson's up. We are here in the top of the third inning of a 1-1 tie with the 0-10 Marlins. And Patterson, how did Patterson hit the ball that hard? Come on. All right, Darren Lewis is up, and uh, Patterson's at second with one down. And the 0-10 Marlins trying to grab their first win of the year right here. And Barry U.S. Bonds is up with runners at first and second base. And it looks like Bond's got a hold of one, but not maybe well enough. And Carr's going to track that one down. And Williams up and two down. And two on. And uh, they got him. They got him. So here's Chucky Carr, our good defensive center fielder. He's not much in the hitting department, but he's a very good defensive center fielder. Brown is up. He's one for one on the day. And scored our only run to this point. You gotta imagine in real life how Burkett might feel if he loses this game to an 0 10 team. The chef, I think the ball got past Man Waring. And so the chef is going to hit maybe a, a dribbling infield single, and he does. And Conine is up with runners at the corners and one down. And that's gonna be a rip through the hole. And I'm going to take the, I'm, let's send the runners. Let's keep sending runners because, you know, this team is not that good. At 0-10, to say they're not that good is kind of an understatement. So Maggot is up it, and they walk Maggot in. And Santiago's up with the bases loaded, one down. If he could just do anything with this ball, but he doesn't. And Kurt Abbott is up. Come on, man, you're one for one. You can make it two for two. Let's make it two for two. And he's going to pop out, pop out to Clayton. And we only get the one run, but we do get the one run. And we have a two to one lead going into the top of the fourth. And the Benzinger house is up and he's going to fly out to the chef. Dave Martinez, the current manager of the Washington Nationals, although we'll see how long that lasts with how he's doing. And there's two down, and Royce Clayton up the plate. And Clayton strikes out. Or no, he doesn't. No, he walks. So that brings up Kurt. Oh, I guess we picked him off. So Brett Barber is coming up with Burkett on, still on the mound, losing 2-1 to one here in the bottom of the fourth. And that is going to be a strikeout of Barbary. Weathers is up. One down. And he's going to walk and walk the pitcher. 
some chucky carries. And Chuck Carr strikes out. So there's two down with Jerry, the Governor Brown, up with Weathers aboard at first base and two down. And he strikes out. So we're going to the top of the fifth. Man wearing is the batter against Weathers. Looks like maybe we got him to bounce out. Yeah. Burkett is up. We're going to let him hit. I mean, it's only two to one right now, so... And this was still back in the time when Starter would go a significant number of innings. I think in 94. We were still kind of there, but we were out of it. So Sheffield's going to be up. He's two for two with a double today. And um, and the team winning two to one, potentially the first game of the season that we can win. That is going to be a ground out to Clayton. And it's really way too early to say that. But, you know. Conine is up with one down, and that's a strikeout. And Dave Penis here. He's 0 for 1 today, but he did walk. And he works his way out the board again with another walk, and Santiago is up. And Santiago runs it right up the middle. For, let's see, yeah, uh, no, we're going to hold runner speed nine. I'm not going to do that. We're not going to try to extend that. Kurt Abbott is up. I mean, I know our odds of having Kurt Abbott um, knock a run in is not the greatest, but but maybe it, no, it didn't. Bonds is going to probably play that, and he does. We go to the top of the sixth. San Francisco is losing to us two to one. Weather's pitching a great game. I don't even want to bring in the relief, no matter how good it might be. And it isn't. Lewis gets aboard, though. And we've got Bonds up, and he's picked off. Nice. Santiago with that bullet arm. And Bonds is going to be walked, and Matt. Well, that's probably the best uh, thing that could happen. And Bear, uh, the Matt Williams is up after him, and that's going to be a fly out, maybe to Conine. And he does make the catch, and Benzinger's up, and he's out. Man, what is going on? Team yearbook, minutes he's and caught program. Man. Thank God we've got Santiago behind the plate because he is gunning people left and right before they even get a, a start. Brett Barbary will be up to lead off our half of the sixth inning with us leading 2-1 to one in a season in which we haven't won a game yet in 10 tries. And he is going to ground out to Patterson. Weathers is up. I'm not taking that dude out, that's for sure. And he grounds out to Patterson. And Chucky Carr, 0 for 3 on the day. And he is going to rip it right through the hole and get a base hit. And uh, the Governor Brown is up 1 for 2 today. And he scored two runs. He scored both of our runs. And he hits it in the hole. We're going to send the lead runner on a 17 for sure. And now we've got runners at 2nd and 3rd with the Sheffield man up at the plate. Couldn't ask for anything better than that. And they walk him, and they want to pitch to Conine. Well, that could be just as bad for them, because Conine, I think, is also doing quite well for us. But he might not make it, and he doesn't. So we're going to the top of the seventh. Uh, San Francisco losing 2-1. to one. Weathers dealing to Benzinger. And that's going to be a ground out. We have got San Francisco's number today. Although we can't score a heck of a lot of runs, but it doesn't really matter. With Weathers pitching like this, it's not really going to matter. But there's a hit between the hole between second and first. And Kurt Manwaring is up. And they're going to pinch hit Daryl Strawberry for Manwaring. So they're they're feeling the pressure. And they he walks. Uh-oh. All right, well, I'm just going to, well, he's going to pitch to Burkett unless they pinch hit for Burkett, and they will with Mark Carry on. I'm going to try to see if Weathers can get out of this inning. No, he cannot. 
and they do score the tying run. And with two down, I'm going to see if he can get Patterson. I really want to get him out of this inning. And he does. He gets out of the inning. So, it, but it, they get, did get tie it. it there. And now they're going to have Rod Beck pitching to Magadan. One thing I like about the Strat game is you don't have to warm people up. So I can just bring in whoever. So Magadan walks and Santiago is in. And they're going right to the bullpen again. This wasn't the days where you had to have a relief pitcher pitch to three people. So Rich Monteleone is coming on to pitch to Santiago. They want to get them the favorable matchup. But did Santiago? No, he's probably going to fly out to Bonds. And Kurt Abbott is up. Kurt Abbott with a man at first. And he strikes out. There's two down and Brett Barbary up. Now let's see if they walk Barbary because the pitcher's next. Well, they bring in uh, Dave Burba. So they're going through, they're burning through their bullpen. Which they can do because they probably didn't have to do it last game because they won last game. And that's going to be a fly out to Lewis, it looks like. And Weathers is not going to be the main man for us. We are going to go to the bullpen And let's see, who are we going to bring in? Um, I'm going to, this is a good time to bring in Brian Harvey. So we're going to bring in Brian Harvey. And he's going to pitch. He hasn't even pitched this year so far. But, I mean, we haven't had a, you know, we haven't had a game where we were winning. And there's a base hit for Lewis. Bonds is up two for three with a man at first base. Williams. He's up. He's 0 for 3 on the day with Lewis at first base. But that's going to be a rip between the hole at short and third and two runners around with Benzinger up at the plate. And Benzinger, I think, got a hold of one and Harvey was a terrible choice to bring into a game <laughs> right now. All right. So they get a, they go a, wait, no, they, what happened there? I guess it was a fly ball. Maybe it was a fly ball. And Harvey is tired. All right. Well, we're going to try to get him through the inning. There's two out. Let's just hope he can get Clayton out. And that looks like he did. And he did. And Harvey is now batting. And so since he is tired, we're going to take this opportunity to take him out. So we will pinch hit for Brian Harvey with... Um, He's a righty who's a 6L. Um, I am going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with Distrata. I mean, we always pinch hit Distrata here in, in these situations. He's been pinch hitting a lot and not coming through. And he hits it right up the middle, so he does come through for us. Man aboard, here we are, bottom of the eight, Chucky Carr up. You know, you got to believe Chucky Carr can bunt. I don't really like bunting. I hate it, actually. But he is going to do that. And did it work? No, it did not. So we're going to try to steal second. No, I mean, uh, let's see here. We're going to try to steal. And he does not. So one way or the other, we got a man to second base. And Brown is up. He's two for three. And Burba deals to him, and he's going to pop it up. Pop it up. Two down. And the chef is up. Let's see if they walk the chef. They do. They walk the chef, and they're going to pitch the cone line. Probably not a great choice. But we'll see. And they struck him out. So, yeah, we need another pitcher. Um, huh. Well, Johnstone, we know, is not very good. How about Hernandez? Hernandez hasn't pitched yet. So we will bring in Hernandez. 
Jeremy Hernandez coming on to pitch for us. To Jeff Reed, who I'm thinking maybe they put in at catcher. I don't remember. Maybe. He's an infielder, though. Anyway, he's aboard, and uh, Burba, you got to think they're going to pinch hit for Burba. And they do with Willie McGee. And they're going to try to bunt, looks like. And they do, and they get the, they move the runner over to second in a 2-2 game with Patterson up and one down. And it looks like that might drop in front of Conine. And it did. So they have a 3-2 lead with Darren Lewis up. Once weather started to go off the rails, I knew we were in trouble. That's going to be a fly ball I think that Conine can handle. For the second out, the bonds up. But we're going to need a run in the ninth at least. And that is a pop-up by Bonds. So we're going to need a run now. We got Dave Magadan trying to get that against Mike Jackson. And he, did he walk? He did. All right, Santiago. Going to keep, San I mean, Con Santiago has kept us in this game. And he got a nice rip, but it's going to be a fly ball to Bonds. Kurt Abbott, we're going to leave Kurt Abbott out there to hit. And he, what happened? Nothing. I mean, bad thing. So Barbary is up. I'm going to let Barbary hit because he's a left-handed hitter. And he is going to fly out. And we are, we are still, unfortunately, um, perfectly defeated. Weathers goes 70, allows six hits, two earned runs. Harvey goes one and allows no runs. And then Hernandez comes in and allows the winning run. And um, we drop this one three to two. And if we go look at the league stats, you can see right there the 0 and 11. 0 and 11. And let's check out the statistics just quickly of the Marlins. Um, team stats. And let's go to primary. So you can see, um, you know, Sheffield. That's why they didn't pitch to Sheffield. He's hitting 386. Conine's hitting 326. But he, he let us down a couple of key situations there. Kurt Abbott at 279, Santiago 275. I mean, we're hitting 240, and we have a 561 earned run average, which actually probably went down because that was a good pitching performance. But we are still 0-11, and that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke.